bed bugs are the stuff of nightmares. Check out this video to how these shy bugs hide and then creep up to bite you without your knowledge. Everybody knows don't let the bed bugs bite. But why do we call them bed bugs? Some hilarious. Small, flattened insects that feed solely on mammalian and avian blood, will bite you on a couch, a chair or even a window seat if they are hungry enough. They do prefer to feed at night, though, so unless you sleep on your sofa, your bed's the thing. Adult bed bugs are 5 mm long, comparable to the size of an eraser on a number 2 pencil. Oval, flattened bed bugs have no usable wings and cannot fly to you to suck your blood. Adult bed bugs can go long periods of time without feeding, typically living for 6 to 12 months. This is a baby bed bug, also known as a nymph. It's only 1 mm at this age, a smaller, paler version of its parent. It can still suck your blood, though turning reddish-brown in color as it feeds. It takes 5 to 8 weeks for a baby to grow into an adult. It will molt during each of its 5 stages of development. Bedbugs are timid, correct living insects who are terrified of open space, said Gail Ridge, assistant scientist at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station and founder of the Connecticut Coalition Against Bed Bugs. She says bed bugs are driven to get into tight spaces and so choose dark close places to live, such as under mattresses and box springs or in the cracks on bed frames, until they come out to feed. This is a digitally colorized electron micrograph scan of the underside of a bed bug. The purple spike is the insect skin piercing sucking mouth it uses to devour its meal. The prickly hairs on the body aren't hairs at all but sensory structures known as seti. This micrograph shows a few of the six jointed legs of a bed bug. Scientists believe that the purple and green structures are the scent gland, responsible for it clawing the sweet, musky odor the bug emits, one way to identify an infestation. It may be hard to believe, but bed bug bites are painless. They insert an anesthetic along with an anticoagulant to enhance blood flow when they bite you. It will be hours, sometimes days, before you begin to itch, if you do at all. Every single person will have a different reaction to a bug bite, Rich said. From absolutely nothing to itchy, red, swelling welts, depending on that person's allergic response to the bug's bite. Because the bites aren't distinctive, it's important to catch a bug or find signs of a bed bug infestation before you decide how to treat your home. Never self-treat, Rich said. Always use a professional to inspect and treat. Besides the bugs themselves, Telltale signs of an infestation include reddish-brown excrement, along with leftover skeletons from molting, and tiny pearl-white eggs. Many things can be mistaken for bed bugs, such as lint, carpet beetles, ticks, fleas and lice, so it's important to get samples and take them to an expert for identification. This nightstand shows a massive infestation of bed bugs. The white spots are excreted urea from unfed insects while the black spots are from insects that have fed, Rich said. Although this case is obviously extreme, bed bugs can attack anyone, from the richest to the poorest. Bed bugs do not select people based on cleanliness, race or socioeconomic status, Rich said. The world's best hitchhikers, bed bugs arrive in our homes via suitcases backpacks and shoes, so finding their presence should not be an indication of dirtiness, nor should it be considered shameful, rich stressed. Bed bugs have pestered us for centuries. These bug bug fossils were recently recovered from Paisley Caves, Oregon, the site of the oldest dated archaeological human remains in North America, and are approximately 9,400 years old. Bed bugs nearly vanished in the United States during the 1940s and 50s due to improved hygiene and the use of the pesticide DDT but are on the rise again due to global travel and increasing resistance to common pesticides, 